Hey everyone, how's it going? It's the RC Genius. I hope everybody had a great holiday. Today I'm going to be starting my custom RC fire truck build. I have been collecting parts and different products to use on this truck for a while now, and now it's time to start it. I'm not gonna show you guys everything that I just got for this project all at the beginning, because I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna introduce all the different products and parts as we go along working on the truck. The only thing I'm gonna show you from the beginning is going to be the remote and receiver that I'm gonna be using for this truck. For this project, I needed a nice six channel transmitter and receiver so that way we can have all the functions on the fire truck work. This one's got two three stage switches. It's got a variometer, a button, steering and throttle. And so this is gonna be the one that we're gonna be using. It's the Radio Link uh, six channel transmitter. So I just wanted you guys to see this one first so that way you guys know what kind of transmitter I'm working with. First thing I'm gonna do in this video for this project is I'm going to start taking some things out from this truck. Uh, there's a couple things that I want removed, such as the old speaker that is in the base of it. I also wanna remove the buttons that are on the side here. As you can see, when I press the button, it plays the little sirens and the lights on top flash. Don't need that, I'm gonna have different lights on this truck and the speaker is gonna kinda be in the way of my water tank. I'm hoping that these things can be removed without cutting off any uh, circuitry. Uh, so we're gonna clip the wires, see if it still works. If it doesn't work, I'll have to put the wires back together. But if it does work, then I can just remove this speaker no problem. The batteries that are in this truck are gonna have to stay because those are gonna be uh, what power our ladder functions. We'll get to all that as we go along in this project. You guys will kind of start to see how it's gonna go together really well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start removing some things and then the first things I'm going to install are going to be the basics of steering and driveline. Let's get started. Okay, so it's been a day now. The steering works quite well. It's actually a pretty simple setup. The servo is just mounted on this uh, front piece of the chassis. And then I created this little brace that's up front that pretty much holds the front screws in. And then I've got this servo horn with a steering linkage that is basically pushing this little rod that was inside the truck to begin with uh, side to side. I also had to put in these two screws from the bottom to create a little bit of like a stopper so that way the uh, servo doesn't oversteer and break the truck. My plan now is to get the motor installed so that way this truck has the essentials of steering and throttle 
And then in the next episode, we'll do the speed control and we'll also do the receiver installation and then hopefully also be able to put in the mechanisms for the ladder functions. So you guys can't tell, but it's actually been two days since I filmed the intro to this video because it's taken me this long to actually get it to where it is now. Uh, it took me a long time to get the whole uh, cut out here for the motor to sit in. It took me a long time to get the steering set up. It also took me a long time to figure out how to mesh the two gears together. So that's where we're at right now. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this first part of the fire truck build. See you guys next time on the RC Genius.